hi guys it's me gifty here and you're watching aga vlogs so today i have come back with another amazing recipe of chicken tikka masala chicken tikka masala is one of the most popular food in united kingdom so if you want to know how to do that keep watching so for making chicken tikka masala we have to work on two steps one is making chicken tikka and another is making the gravy so let's get started with making chicken tikka. For making chicken tikka, we need 250 grams of boneless chicken. We'll be marinating it with one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and one tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder. Why Kashmiri chili powder? Because it's more of color than spice. One big tablespoon full of hung yogurt. If you don't have hung yogurt, use any regular yogurt. Just avoid using the water of the yogurt. That's it. We basically need some thick yogurt and mix it well. We're going to add some salt to taste. And half a spoon of cooking oil. Mix it well. If you would like your chicken tikka to be more red in color, guys, by all means, go ahead and use some food coloring. But I am not using it right now. We leave our marinated chicken on the side for half an hour and in the meanwhile we'll work on our gravy. For that we'll take some oil in a pan and we'll take two thinly sliced medium sized onions and we'll cook it until golden brown. So as we see our onions are beautifully golden brown in color at this stage we'll add some ginger garlic paste. One teaspoon of red Kashmiri chili powder, one teaspoon of turmeric powder. Turmeric has good antiseptic and healing properties. One teaspoon of coriander powder. And in the end, we would put half a teaspoon of garam masala. At any stage, if you feel your base is burning, add few drops of water. Next would be adding tomatoes. At this stage, add some water to your gravy and cover it with a lid until your tomatoes are nicely mashed into the gravy so let's get back to our gravy wow so as you see the tomatoes have already mashed into the gravy and the oil has started extracting out of the gravy on the corners so at this stage we'll put two tablespoons of hung yogurt now you add two tablespoons of cashew powder or two tablespoons of cashew paste how do you do cashew paste guys you soak some cashews into the water either overnight or for a couple of hours and then make a paste out of it easy so our last ingredient would be some butter salted or unsalted doesn't matter you add that to your gravy and then let it cook on medium heat for like good 20 minutes let it slowly cook since our gravy is still cooking, let's work on chicken tikka. There are two ways to do chicken tikka. The easier one on a pan and the authentic one in a tandoor or in an oven. I'll show you both the ways right now. You can choose either of the ways to make your chicken tikka. So the first one is on a pan. So put your chicken pieces on a pan and let them cook on one side. Once they're nicely seared on one side, we're going to flip them over so that we get that beautiful color on our chicken. And after a minute or so, we'll flip them over. Wow, they've got a beautiful color already, as you guys can see. So chicken tikka masala also has some chunky vegetables in it. So you'll see in the end, once our chicken is ready, we're going to drop some cubes of tomatoes, onions and green peppers in there. And then we'll toss them nicely with our chicken and we'll add that to our gravy. So now I'll show you another way of doing chicken tikka in your oven. So what you have to do is you put your chicken into your oven to cook it. And once your chicken is almost cooked, you put those vegetables as well into your oven just for like literally two, three minutes. So after your gravy is slowly cooked for 20 minutes at this stage, add your chicken tikka and those grilled vegetables into your gravy. Add salt to taste. And there we go. Your chicken tikka masala is ready, guys. Enjoy it with some rice, papadum, salad, or maybe naan bread. How about that? My favorite. 